I've got our scrappers. Yeah, just another flat screen TV for a uh, scrap value uh, scrap. Um, this one's an NEC. It's uh, it doesn't look like a, a it's a bad one. This this backing is all aluminium, so so that's a good start. Looks like this big plate here is also aluminium. Oh yeah, geez, got a huge board and it's one of those, uh, it's almost like an opaque type of color um, circuit board. Really old school style, so we'll have a closer look at that. So th this sheet here is also aluminium. So I'll just take out the fan and got a good, good bit of aluminium. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look um, too bad. It looks, uh, at least it's something uh, a little bit different than uh, normal plasmas that we've been getting. But uh, yeah, this is just like one giant power board. Uh, and that's, I'd imagine, what it is. And uh, under these plates here, these should be the main boards. I can get to them. Let's have to get rid of that sticky tape. They've got quite a lot of wire on this board. Oh wow, that's that's um this must have been a pretty good TV when it started. Uh, um yeah so it's technically it's only a mid-grade board, you know, um like a peripheral board if you like. But uh yeah, it's got no rubbish on it whatsoever. Once we take off this uh, steel backing and this steel frame there's there's no real rubbish and you always remove these little batteries um, yeah it's a, it's a quite a nice board as, as, as a peripheral mid-grade board um, to depopulate you've got a you know it looks like we've got an EEPROM here so we can just remove that easily uh, you could depopulate it but uh, most of it you know is not you know necessarily good for gold recovery anyway so uh but anyway just a bit of steel got another board here it's quite bright and sunny today Okay, so another very similar kind of board. It really hasn't got any rubbish on it, um, but it's just basically a mid-grade board. It's got some, you know, some IC chips here, but uh, you're probably better off getting better value just uh, selling it as a mid-grade board. Um, you could probably, there's three nice uh, crystals here, the long ones, you probably want to take them and then sell the rest as a mid-grade board. And so, got some more aluminium here, and uh, it looks like a, a, a nice board is underneath this aluminium. And I'll just get uh, this main board off, if we can. Just have to unscrew a few things. Yeah, it's certainly not um, a common type of uh, plasma TV. You know, if you see any other videos that I've done of plasma TVs, uh, it's a, it's a, you know, they're pretty... This one's very uh, different. Okay. We've got the main board, the main power board anyway. Uh, it's on a nice aluminium tray, 
so extra aluminium so there's some really good aluminium value in this TV so far and then we've got obviously our, our main power board um, that's all basically it is uh, just sell it as a power board uh, unless you wanted to depopulate all the transformers and the, the coils um, try and value add to it a bit but uh, you know I'll probably just uh, take a couple of these IC chips and uh, sell the rest as a depopulated as a um, um, power board and take the aluminium uh, okay so the board here just some ports it's actually there's very almost nothing on it so uh, there's no real value here um, Yeah, same deal, just some ports, but uh, no value whatsoever here. So it's, uh, this isn't even, you wouldn't even class this as a uh, low grade. This is, well, it's as low as you can go, you know, um, if anything. Okay, so there's some more boards under here. Uh, I'll just remove some of this uh, side panelling and... Uh, and we can get to get this whole aluminium sheet out and we've got some more boards under here it looks like so have a look okay i've just taken off the front screen of the plasma tv um usually uh that's one of the first things that fall off the tv once you undo un undo all the screws is the front screen but this frame is actually aluminium and so what i'm going to have to do here is i'm going to remove the uh, glass panel take off all the screws and so we've got a really nice aluminium frame here um, so you can either sell it as aluminium or keep it as as an, a good frame so I'm just going to remove this glass um, put the aluminium aside get rid of the glass and continue on okay so we've got our uh, um, aluminium frame now we also got the these are uh, pieces of aluminium that we're holding in the glass and so this frame here weighs a good six or seven pounds, you know, so uh, um, add another pound here. And uh, so it's not a bad aluminium haul. And uh, I've just been taking off this uh, um, tape on the side and you can see that uh, it's copper tape. Um, this is kind of like insulated wire. So it runs all around it. I've taken off most of it. So that's that's what it is there, and and so what it is, it's uh, copper copper tape, and inside it's insulation. So it's a bit like insulated wire, but the other way around. The insulation is on the inside in this case, and the copper is on the outside. So I'd still throw this in to um, your insulated copper wire. Um, depends on how picky your yard was maybe throw it into low-grade insulated wire definitely low-grade insulated but you know you might even get away with throwing this into mid-grade so that's another thing to there okay well I'll get the TV and we'll continue on okay well this is uh, interesting um, so uh, yeah I've taken off the front cover and you remember the boards that we took off all those boards well I, I'm I'm pretty sure it it just says that this is a plasma monitor it doesn't say a plasma tv um but uh it is a 42 inch so if it's a monitor you know it's probably used as a monitor and a tv but anyway um it's yeah it's very different to any other plasmas that i've gotten anyway so we've taken all those main boards off right and now i've un i've undone this panel here with this aluminium sheets that we want to get off remove that and we've got the whole plasma TV here. So I don't know what all that last business was all about, but uh, so, you know, we've got, here's the main board. Um, there's the two power boards here, but they also act as uh, video kind of boards. So um, yeah, it's just very different. Well, you've got these strip boards here. They're tip typical uh, plasma strip boards, although there's two on each side. Um, there's more aluminium, but we can't take off too much aluminium because we don't want to um, 
we want to keep the glass and uh, the you know the actual TV screen intact so we can get rid of it um, so this is going to need some cleaning up taking off quite a few screws and stuff and the plastic on the outside but here's another huge um, you know nice piece of aluminium again so so there's aluminium right through it there's another board that we've got to get out of there so I'll get rid of this and I'll clean this up and you'll see see the results of that later okay yeah so this is uh, just the main board just another quick look so as you can see it's just a mid-grade board some people call them peripheral boards but it's yeah basically just a mid-grade board because it doesn't have any high high grade chips on it um, like uh, gold corner chips but uh, these flat packs are all very very fat and large so you know you're going to get good value out of them so you you know you might be better off depopulating a board like this rather than selling it as a mid-grade but it's up to you and just these strip boards uh, they're like a no grade they're basically a you can just throw them in with power boards um, they uh, in this case they've all got these little aluminium panels and they're a little bit of uh, gold fingers here so we what I do is I take off this little bit of gold finger and uh, maybe take these MLCC's and then the rest you can't really take this off from this so it's just irony aluminium so just throw it in your with your irony aluminium uh, just take off your gold ribbons so you, you got a whole heap of them on both sides um, and uh, we've also got some side panel ones like the ones over this side again so you've got ribbon but the ribbon doesn't actually um, you can't really get to the gold plating there's there's a little bit of gold plating but it sort of sticks under the glass when you pull it out but this side has got some gold plating here and um, this board itself uh, it's got a you know it has got some gold plating and some quite nice gold plating here uh, it's very blobby um, so you can um, try and depopulate it and treat it for gold recovery or just throw it in with your mid-grade boards all right I'll get a tally and we'll see what we ended up getting Okay, this is what we ended up getting anyway. A uh, whole, whole bunch of aluminium, which was uh, pretty good. Got some insulated wire. Got these uh, irony aluminium pieces with some uh, gold ribbons to take off. Um, we've got the mid-grade boards. So that's the main, the main logic board. Um, uh, but it's, yeah, just the mid-grade board. Uh, the same with these uh, that first came out of it so quite a quite a bit in mid-grade boards and then just in uh, low-grade boards got this uh, really large power board that was on the top another two power boards here that um, it's got a lot of aluminium heat sinks but uh, and then some uh, just some very plain boards so with this one the NEC PX 42 inch um, we ended up getting five kilos of power boards, 1.25 of mid-grade, um, a little bit of insulated copper, copper wire, 4.4 uh, kilos of aluminium, and 14.8 kilos of steel. So giving us a total scrap value of 9.45 at current prices. But uh, that's what we ended up getting out of this NEC. And uh, yeah, so. Uh, a lot of boards uh, from one TV, it's quite amazing. Uh, so yeah, pretty good scrap this one. Uh, good value, having a um, bonus, having a, uh, what they have, $4.40 worth of aluminium here. So yeah, not a bad scrap this. Alright, well keep scrapping guys and I'll catch you next time.